We present the setting up of the VFD in operation with the PID controller. In this video tutorial, we will tell you how to set up the PID controller by using a Wi-Fi remote control. Step 1. Setting up the analog inputs. Go to the settings menu, select the digital and analog signals item, and then go to the analog input section. Set the required analog input signal type, 0 to 10 V, 4 to 20 MA. Set the measuring range of the analog signal, minimum value, maximum value. Select the units of measurement of the physical value of the signal. Set up the second analog input, similar to the first. Step two, setting up the control sources of the PID controller. Go to Main Menu, Settings, Control, Control Settings Reference 1. 1. Select the required control source in the Select Control Source parameter. 2. Select the control source in the Control Source 1, 2 parameter. 3. Select required reference source in the Select Reference Source parameter. 4. Set the reference source 1, 2 parameter to PID. Step 3. The PID controller settings. Go to Main Menu, Settings, Mechanism, PID Controller. Set the reference source of the PID controller in the PID reference source. Analog Input 1, Analog Input 2, Manual ACS. For example, select the parameter Analog Input 1. Set the feedback from the PID controller. Set the PID feedback, FB, select parameter to FB1. Set the PID feedback 1 source, FB1, to analog input 2. Set the control limits of the PID controller in the parameters PID maximum frequency and PID minimum frequency. Set the type of mismatch effect on the output of the PID controller. This setting is made in the parameter PID characteristic parameter, direct, inverse, Set the proportional and integral gain in the PID proportional gain and PID integral gain. Step 4. Test the PID controller operation. Apply the desired value to input A in 1. To monitor the process, go to the oscilloscope menu like this. Main menu. Diagnostics. Oscilloscope. Select the parameter you want to monitor and start the VFD by pressing the Start button. You can monitor the current speed by pressing the Status button. After the VFD has reached the set speed value, stop the VFD operation by pressing the Stop button. Load the transient graph by clicking on the Download Graphs button. Using the graph, evaluate the quality of the PID controller setting. As you can see from the graph, all the parameters of the VFD are set and your unit is ready to start with full control of all parameters for safe and long operation. Work with Triol. Sell knowledge.